welcome back to another episode of Side Quests. So, I have a couple of questions that I received from you guys. One of them being, how did the floors become so damaged? So, what happened was there was a hole in the roof and water would run into the building and run down to the basement. Every summer, it would then condense to the bottom of the floors and then that would cause them to rot out and it would repeat year after year and therefore they would eventually just started to fall in on themselves. Now interestingly enough the basement was actually a finished ceiling so there was quite a lot of debris on the floor. So another thing that somebody asked me was how much did I pay for this house? Well I can't tell you that just yet, but it will come up in a future episode. But to give you an idea, this house was to be scheduled for demolition. So with that information, you can probably guess that I didn't pay an exorbitant amount for it, uh, just based on the amount of work that needs to be done. So anyway, let me, uh, I am now here to install this. Now this, since we had people lurking around and we're in the only area where somebody could get in to the house um, as all the floors are been taken away from the other rooms I ordered this motion sensor alarm now it should be relatively easy to install um, it comes with a remote I have some little stickers so while I just figure this out some people I've asked about what a British guy is doing in Canada. Well, I moved here in, well, I think it was 2013 now, and I worked in Toronto for a long time. Um, then we, I moved here with my partner to uh, help out their family. So I set up a company here and in masonry. And I didn't think I was going to be that busy, you know, moving to an island from Toronto, moving to from a population of millions to a population of less than 200,000. Well, how wrong was I? I have been rushed off of my feet ever since i come here. Now, I take pride in my work and I do a lot of heritage work. So, kind of fitting that I bought an old heritage building that also needs a lot of work. So that is me. Let's stick this on here. Now if I can do this without falling through the floor. And then we've got a couple more solar lights to the right. And I'm going to put those up. And then we will uh, I'll conclude for today's side quests. Now I'm going to have lots of these coming up. And I encourage you to ask as many questions as possible because I'd love to answer them. And these are the episodes where I'm able to really chat to you guys and kind of explain some of the stuff that's going on, some of the stuff that I'm doing. But there's so much to do. Questions from you really help with me, you know, what you guys want to know about. So if I can just stick this on without falling through the floor. That's, uh, I think, somewhere around here. Here-ish. We'll just kind of... It's double-sided and sticky, so let's just plop it on. A firm press. Okay, now cover your ears. I'll turn the volume down. I'm just going to test to see if if this works. Okay, quite loud. Okay, it flashed red twice, which I believe means it's armed. Now I'm going to cover my ears because this is supposedly 125 decibels, so I'm just going to walk near it. Okay, that's loud. Good purchase, and it wasn't that expensive. Right, anyway, that's this side quest completed. Let's pop outside and add those 
two more solar lights that showed up and then we'll chat a little bit more now i did just pop back um i uh, realized that that sticky tape might not hold during like the freeze and once triggered this alarm won't stop so there's a couple of screw holes i'm just going to see if i can attach it it's just so it doesn't fall off and accidentally we trigger okay okay that's firmly held there i would reach around and put one on the other side but if you didn't just hear that floor crunch i did and i don't particularly want to end up in the basement today let's go outside so this is the light I'll show you a little closer just a bright light that i can adjust these on there's a little solder thing and a nice simple clip so it's super easy to install and then while i am doing that since side quests are for you to get to know me i will waffle on a little bit more about myself until i get more questions that is anyway so i am in my 30s although i like to say i'm in my late late 20s this barn and i also have another barn a little further down that i'll show you at a later date but I'm sure my pants are hiked up this time but this barn i've been using to hold all the wood for the floors so as we took out all the floors I ordered new wood in order to be able to put them back in as soon as possible. But we're just waiting for power, and then we'll be able to do that. Oh, this is nice. They come with stainless steel screws, which, as you'll know from the previous video, we quite like. So on this barn, I do have to replace uh, some of the foundational parts of it. They broke and the frost and it needs to be resheeted and i'll also need to put new shingle on it maybe even a new door pretty much refinish the whole thing but having a barn it's very useful for storing some of the materials as i don't really have anywhere to store them inside the house should be nice and simple Oh, that couldn't have been easier. No. I already know that one of the questions I'm going to receive here is why are all the bricks missing? So, the reason that this has no bricks left on it is because when they hired a, another company to do the some of the work on the church, they decided to use a machine and they took that machine and drove it into the side of this building to push off all the bricks so that they could use them on the other side now in fairness they thought that this building was going to be demolished so but in hindsight all it did was make a whole bunch of work for me so now i have to repair all this well, lucky for me well i say lucky but me being me i have been collecting old brick on the island since i got here i happen to have a couple of skids of this also they said that there are some left over in the basement of the church so we're going to collect those up at some point nice and simple he says now there is one more very important side quest for today and that is measuring this window the reason we're doing that is that i received a message from a fella in a province over from us and he said he happens to have some curved glass from a century old home that was taken down so we're here to measure see if it's the same size and if it is that would be miraculous as 
most of you know, you'd be having to go to Europe otherwise to find this glass. So we're just going to give that a quick measure. And we are 74 and a half centimeters or just under 29 and a half inches wide. And the height. So each turn up there is 92 centimeters or three feet. So there we have it. And some of you are right. The uh, caulking is damaged around these windows, which might be the reason that it blew out in the first place. So whoever worked that one out, good on you. That was uh, actually very logical and it was right. Now, I am back in my van, but I just wanted to take a second to, I don't know, kind of run something by you guys. Uh, I've been filming here, like, on my own quite a lot, and occasionally I'm hearing, like, things dropping, banging, and some other stuff. But, I mean, like, so there's either an animal living in there, but... But it's not, it's not consistent, it's like just here and there. So, I don't know, I just thought I would take a second to just kind of document and loop you guys in with some of the things that I'm hearing. It's probably just, like, I don't know, things dropping, but some of the bangs are quite loud. So, well, this is where I would, uh, where I would share that. So, um, yeah, I'm just kind of slipping this into the vlog and you'll uh, see what you guys kind of think it is. I'm sure it's nothing, but... And I'm not a superstitious person, but even so, like, it still got me a little bit spooked, kind of raised the hair on the back of your neck a little bit. Whatever. As you can see, there's lots of snow on the ground, so we can't really do any outside things. And the inside, we're still waiting for the power, so let's pick away at a few little things here and there. And uh, maybe we will look at the stuff in the attic and go through some of those things because I still haven't looked in there yet. So drop in the comments what you think that we should do next as a next side quest. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Don't work too hard. <laughs>